almost to the square center of the big chunk. Yeah, I did mark it though. So we got our first first waypoint. Really dense. Never shown We're going to do some exploring today. Got my son Alan visiting and his guest Kelly. And we're out at the Project 291. Um, it's 291 acres. We're buying it and we've never been on most of it. So today we got the Polaris, we got the chainsaw, some cameras. We're gonna go explore it and see what happens. So hope you'll join us for some fresh air. And you see the screen's on. Yep. Uh, the screen goes off after two minutes, but if you want it to go back on, you just touch it. Mm -hmm. And wake it up. <laughs> it, the red light is telling you it's running. Adventure time. Load it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. I'm ready. <laughs> Deer carcass right there, right on the side. Come here, Kelly. Come and say hi. This is my son, Al. Hey, nice to meet you, Al. Nice Heard you. a lot about you. Oh, nice and to meet you. Kelly. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. You made it. Hey, <laughs> found a big old pile of tires as well. Oh no, another one? Another one, yes. <laughs> I showed them Picker Paradise on the way out. <laughs> Looks a lot better now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So your guys uh, still coming at 11 or? It's supposed to be. I was going to say, it's after yeah, 11. A little late. I'm going to contact them here. If not, then we'll... Okay. <laughs> Cinematographer. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Curtis, did I tell you we got our modernization back? Uh-uh. Good deal. Just like yesterday. Oh, good. That'll help quite a bit. Yes. I need to make my own Come out here and do a job be like, all right, capper, take two. Crap. <laughs> yeah, we need one of them little snappers. <laughs> Back there and include it when you go to resell it in the back or you want the hey man 
Oh yeah, that's exactly what I had hoped it. it and, and then it then it cut, cuts down. Oh okay okay. It cuts but it down. cuts down behind the twenties though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this you could keep this twenty right here, and we'll have at least a road already to the back. Yeah. That's where it starts at. Turn back from here. Yeah, I'll go in a little bit here. Okay. I'll take you, uh, take you back to where the 80 in and begin that big part back here. Alright.
I did mark it though. So we got our first first waypoint. Sweet. Awesome. Look at that scrape right there. Oh. oh yeah. Let's uh let's go ahead and hang another one here. I'll tell you the Polaris is taking a real beating. Um but it's too much to try and cut everyone by hand. That's why I'm going to come with the excavator. But he's taking a beat and that's for sure. Well, that's a work machine. Just because it looks cool don't mean it can't work too. Check that out. That's a big rub. That's a big bub, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big bub, big buck. Big scrape right there, but man, there's a lot of scrapes back here. We're almost to the square center of the big chunk. That big chunk's got to be probably 160 square, is my guess. Try manually on this one. <laughs> nice. Extra. Good job, because you oh. didn't want to not get it and be totally infamous. So nice work. <laughs> yeah, right, thanks. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, before I head to the next one, oh, give me a sandwich. That right, brisket yeah. sounds better though. There you go. <laughs> So the farther you go on the property. The more trails and tracks we're seeing. A lot of scrapes. We're seeing a lot of scrapes on this main road. Look at that, that's like a highway right there. A water and hole here they're drinking out of already. Look at all the tracks. Right there, right here's a slider. That's all it takes is right there. Oh cool stuff man. Cool. This is gonna be a real nice chunk of ground back here once we get done with it. It's opening up a little bit. 
definitely needs a new road system. We're gonna we're gonna be dead ending here at the Shawnee soon. There's a there's a scrape there. Man, I can't believe the scrapes back in here. Some, some very recent deer tracks here. Actually, there's some other tracks. Yeah, there's a little raccoon. Raccoon? Right okay. Well, something. Right next something to the like deer. <laughs> cool. It's something oh with little God. fingers. <laughs> the lands? Yeah. yeah. Maybe it is a raccoon. Yeah, so there was an owl hooting for like, you know, a minute or a minute and a half. It was just, it was sounding really cool. Of course, by the time we thought to turn the camera on to try and capture the audio, it, it quit. Come on, owl. We know you're there. I think we missed it. Dang it! Dang. Here, lots of deer trucks. Cool. Doing a little scavenging through the woods here, following kind of a deer path, leading out through. We're finding a pond. Oh, it's actually really close. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. Wow. Cool. We didn't have to go far at all. Nope. Right on this tree? Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep. Putting up the last trail cam. And we're seeing a lot of rubs over here by the pond. You can see someone's going to town. And there's the pond too.
Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. So this, um, we're following the property line. This could be a perimeter trail. And there is just loads and loads of deer sign back in here. Wow. It's like every fifth tree has a scrape under it. I wonder if Curtis has even ever back, been back this far. He may not have. You gotta go to where to at least check down that ridge and see what that looks like. Oh yeah. Scrape. I'm not kidding. Like every every third or fifth tree there's scrape. There's one here. Look at them, the, the bucks are rubbing this hardwood. Which that's unusual. Look at this right here. Yeah, that one they're rubbing. You got older scrapes right here. But it's pretty rare to see them hitting these hardwoods. Kelly, what kind of tree is this? Do you know? There's some oh, fresher ones weird. right there. I was just asking this. Yeah, these like weird pods that are coming off. I don't know if that's. Yeah. All right, look at this. Another scrape here. They're all over. So the kids are going back to it. That micro plot that I thought was on a neighboring property, but now Curtis came and he showed me. So, part of this huge 291 is part of that. Speaking of Curtis, there he is. So, they're gonna go hang a camera around that micro plot. This place is beautiful. We say, man, a lot of potential here. Oh gosh, it's gonna be sick when we put some food plots back in here. This is, I mean, we're working with a blank slate back here. Yeah, yep. Cover's already established. Yep. So there's plenty of cover. So usually the cover takes years to establish right, if it don't right. have it. So getting here with your machines yeah. and get some food, it's gonna be dynamite Man. trail system. We're putting cameras up on these scrapes and there's some big hardwood trees that somebody's hitting a big buck back here. So hopefully we get a picture of them. It'd be time to shed, huh? Yeah, he's hitting everything on this edge. So I don't know. Probably right this is going out of right on the edge like this. Because then you're getting you're getting that trail and a little bit of this field. Okay, I think that needs to go up on that edge. Sorry, let me uh, put this one up here. Okay, safety. safety police are going to be after that. Is that OSHA standard? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the last adventure of the day, um, while we were, we made it all the way back to the back of the property where there's a steep ridge that goes, you know, several hundred feet down. And we heard some people talking and Al saw a truck down there. So I decided, I figured it was the neighbors. I figured I'd go down there. Anyways, it was a long hike down. I, I didn't get much footage, but what was down there was this absolutely stunningly beautiful creek. And I didn't get any footage of it. I thought I took a quick clip because as soon as I approached them, you know, first of all, I'm like, don't shoot, don't shoot. And, you know, it was all good. But anyways, they were good people. Had a nice conversation with them. But um, I didn't get pictures or videos of the creek that comes across our property in two different places. So uh, next trip, I'm definitely going to have to go back down, but it was a long hike getting back up that ridge. But that property lays out beautiful because that ridge basically is all, like the perimeter of the property almost, and then the center is this huge flat shelf that used to be uh, some sort of farm field. So, I mean, it lays out amazing, but I'm, I was kicking myself that I didn't get footage of that creek. It's a beautiful, beautiful creek crystal clear water uh pebbles you know rock pebbles in the bottom 
um, just stunning. So stay tuned. I will definitely get some video of that um, and hope to see you on our next adventure. Thanks a lot. What's that, a reflector? Trail marker, huh? Yeah, a reflector. Oh, there's a the hardwood. Oh, you taking clips? Oh, okay, no, that's good because I was going to take them. Yeah, no, that's all right. Yeah, we're like right on the line here. I'm curious where this path continues. Mm -hmm. Find out. Oh man, look at that. Look at that ridge. We gotta go down there and see if there's a cliff over there or what. Right here, man, this is it. Turns to the right, right here. I think we'll have better luck now with the cameras in them thickets. You know, the trail cameras. No, it's, it's probably not. We're actually we're see where we're at right there. So we're just oh, we're over right the on. line. Wait a minute. So I don't know. Yeah, that's the neighbor. Let me see how many acres this is here. Oh, come on. Three hundred. Okay, yeah, this is the property line right here. And that's still private, but Shawnee is all, see all that like kind of mountain over there? That's all Shawnee. Oh, wow. I mean, actually, we still, actually, let's see how far the property goes here. Nice scrape right here. Kelly's uh, videoing on a cedar tree right on the trail. We're getting close to the corner of the property. Coming up to a field here trying to figure out if it's part of this property or not. Wow, the road goes here to the Well, I know. I mean, yeah, we're close, but I'm just curious if this is a more than the crazy tracks, scrapes everywhere. Yeah. 
Yeah. I know. Yeah. Wow. Can't tell which direction I'm going on this thing. This could be an existing perimeter trail that I'm on here. Let me get you a shot with the camera here quick. Oh yeah, we're we're a while back on the property now. Well, this is about where the road ends, right here, literally. It just shuts off. So this is where I'll continue the perimeter road. Literally ends right here. Wow. Well, I mean, I can kind of see where it's old, but yeah, needs some major work. Looks like the road pretty well closes up there, but. I think it goes that way. Right yeah. It's, it's just kind of a loop it, around back, right? Kind of but it's, fun. yeah, it's back onto the, our property here. So Ooh. that's where the excavator is going to go probably first. I'll clean up the main road all the way out. Yeah, we got to, that's a lot of work. We got to put a camera out here, Al. Did you, uh, you bring?